feel like there's like fucking snakes crawling up my legs. Tamina Huili. Oui, oui. Hello, good sir. Hello, mate. Hello. I have glasses. I have wine. Let's drink. This must be Lads in the Vineyard. <laughs> Today we are drinking Didier Grapp Tramina Huili 2020. Now, Tramina. Matt, why don't you explain what Tremina is and Tremina. why it's on the bottle here? Tremina is seven, yeah? So mm -hmm. seven, yeah, and Tremina are the same thing. Mystery solved. There we go. And so it's on the bottle because it's in the bottle. Now you might have noticed that we've actually got a <laughs> screw top here, a screw cap. So that's the way that Didier likes the bottle now. He doesn't use corks. Shit. He actually prefers this. Matt doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm just getting attacked by a wasp. Oh, but anyway, oh, you got, right you got him there. Good, good, good. Yeah, He's your is, mate. This is stung by a wasp <laughs> yesterday, actually. You did, yeah? yeah. On, on, the, on the arm. Sorry, don't want to laugh Fucking at you, but it was horrible. funny. Horrible. It was funny. I had to keep my cool because we were talking to someone. And I just kind of like I mean, sucked it in. You did well. Yeah. You did well. I mean, I would have shit my pants if yeah, that happened, but yeah, it, it, it was tough. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give this a little I mean, whiff. This is just. Oh. It's fresh. It's direct. Yes. It's straight. Definitely. This is exactly what you want from a Pili Savignan. It's got a little bit of white pepper on the nose, which I really, really love. The also, acidity is there. Yeah, the citrus, the kind of green apple, this green apple skin. This yeah. is kind of what I like in a more direct, easy drinking white. But for now, I mean, look, let's reveal a bit. It is drinky time. It's, you know, in the yeah. 5 p.m. mark of the afternoon. So this is pretty much how I want to start my afternoon. Today. Yeah, same here. I wish every afternoon started like this when it's sunny. Probably not in winter, but right now. But it's also, them up. it's also not too heavy. Like it is a, it is a topped up Sauvignon, which you'd pro normally expect to be topped up barrel and for it to have a little bit more maybe smokiness or some really big richness or anything like that but it's really not like that at all it's a lot fresher and a lot cleaner i think didier does work you know a lot in uh, in stainless steel tanks mm -hmm. so it does have a much more of a fresher leaner approach so if you're bigger bodied sauvignons and you're you know a bit broad shoulders not really for you then this is a really good uh, a really good way to enjoy a variety that's got stiff acidity but without the big broadness well, cheers. Salut. Mm. oh that's lovely feels like that kind of lemon rind aspect comes right on the finish um, and again, that peppery, spicy note, uh, as soon as it hits your palate, it's right there with that acidity, isn't it? Absolutely, the acidity is sharp, but not too uh, intense where you feel like it's pricking your cheeks. It's got a really nice uh, nice directness. It carries it down your palate, and it's always, it's got a it's got a reference point from, from A to B rather yeah. than just kind of floating about, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. And, and freshness is the key word here. I mean, that's what it is. It's not gonna have a super long finish. It's not gonna coat your mouth and drip down. It's all about freshness here and acidity. Definitely a wine that you should get and fantastic value too. Really, really good value. Cheers.